Eric Stewart with Lincoln Electric. I'm here with Steve Baser, and today we're going to be going through some of the advanced features and options in the pipe fab package. Okay, so today Steve's going to be doing some pulse welding for us, but first I want to go through and show you where some of the other features or options are hidden. Um, as you can see on our display here, we go through and show you what is relevant to the operator or the welder. We show you that we are welding in pulse, we are in steel, the diameter and the gas mixture, along with our parameters. But, let's just say that you wanted to go in and adjust some of the options such as run-in, such in pre-flow, post-flow, or a start time. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So, if we use our, our uh, knob down here, and if we go to more, we will see that we have the advanced features such as two-step, altamark, and then we have our start and our end. So, by pushing that, you can see that we have preset everything to an auto setting. That means that while we are doing a pulse MIG right now, we have optimized where the starting should be at, where the crater, the pre, the post, and the run-in should be at. So we've already predetermined that for you. In special cases, people would like to go through and make a selection or make a change, and they would say, well, I would like to adjust and have a little bit more, um, I would like to change my run-in speed. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So again, we're in auto. I'm going to go over here to auto run-in. So when I hit that, we are set right now at 110 inches a minute. All right? And we're in auto, as you can see. Now, it's important to note that we actually tell you what auto is. A lot of equipment out there does not tell you what auto is. So if you were making a change, you wouldn't know if you're actually increasing or decreasing what is the run-in speed in this case. So you wouldn't know where to start to improve what it is you're trying to accomplish. So right here, I'm going to want to increase the run-in speed up a little bit. Now if you saw right there, as soon as I touch it, it goes to off. The next thing it does is it goes to the wire feed speed, which is equal to what is the, the run-in speed is equal to what is the wire feed speed, which is 300 inches a minute, okay? So I'm going to want that more than 110, but less than 300. So I'm going to go ahead and make a change. Now it tells you that the range I'm allowed to select, I'm going to go to 100. It tells you that the range is between 50 and 150. I'm choosing 100 because I think that's going to help us with a little bit better start for the application that we are dealing with right now. I'm going to save that in memory one. First go to MIG. Save it in memory one. Okay, so that's how we get to some of the options. Now I'd like to go through and show you how that when we set some of the other advanced features, that we will actually see those pop up in this space over here, okay? So again, I'm MIG, memory one. I'm still in more, because that's where I was last at. So I want to run in four step, okay? As soon as I did that, memory one went out. I'm gonna have to resave that. But then I also want to increase what is my Altamark, okay? So what Altamark is, is this is what fine tunes the arc. So we've got our wire feed speed set, we've got a voltage set. Now I want to customize the arc to a little bit more narrow, focused of an arc or a little bit broader of an arc. And I'll do that here. So as you can see here, as I go to a higher number, I am focusing the arc. So if you look at the arc FX right here symbol, you're going to see that Altamark is actually, it's actually narrowing the cone. If I go to a negative number, it's going to broaden it and it's going to actually soften it. So we're going to go for something a little bit on the soft side. Okay, now I'm going to save this in one because I've made these changes. So I am left MIG one. Now it's important to note that the advanced settings are now saved here so you know what you saved and what you saved. So if I chose four step and I saved it and also use the arc effects or Altamark and save that at four, minus four, it actually saves it there. So now what I'd like to do is have Steve Weld. And while he's welding, I want to show you that I can still access the advanced screen for arc FX. And what that means is I'll still, if Steve says, hey, it's too soft, I'll be able to make that adjustment while he's welding. And I want to see, want you to see what shows up on the screen. Go ahead, Steve. Okay, so when Steve welds, you can see we got a current and a voltage display. If I push the center knob in, it's telling you now that I'm at negative four, showing my true energy, but it's showing you that I can change this to what would be a stiffer arc. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so basically we've covered some of the options with the pipe fab, and we've also covered the advanced settings and how you can see them while welding. For more information, go to lincolnelectric.com.